I'm like uh, uh, my my last uh, days in my last three days. Actually, Holding back tears, Monther Ataki, a 28-year-old Syrian activist, spoke with the Associated Press in a Skype interview. Ataki chose to take a side in the conflict against the Syrian regime, moving to the rebel-held area of eastern Aleppo in 2012. As the Syrian government closed in this week on the remaining rebel-held areas of eastern Aleppo, reports of mass casualties mounted. It's really our last time and uh, we can't believe there's anyone on this planet could help us. Many activists like Ataki have posted their goodbyes on social media, fearing that they will be trapped or killed by government troops. One activist periscoping from Aleppo. We wanted the freedom. We didn't want anything else but freedom. You know, this world doesn't like freedom, it seems. The UN says it's received reports of Syria's pro-government forces killing more than 80 civilians as they retake eastern Aleppo. Among world leaders, there is a debate over who is responsible for the civilian deaths. Uh, the tragedy in Aleppo did not come out of a vacuum. It was created by a vacuum, a vacuum of Western leadership, of American leadership, British leadership. Russia, which backs the Syrian government, is also being blamed. The dictator the dictator was left to do his worst, along with his allies, Russia and Iran, and the bloodiest tragedy of the 21st century has since unfolded. Russian officials speaking at the UN on Tuesday said the Syrian government is now in control of eastern Aleppo. Syrian rebels also say they've reached a ceasefire deal to evacuate from eastern Aleppo, effectively surrendering. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.